it's a beautiful day to be outside, at least today when I'm recording this. So all you need are your sketchbook, a pencil, and maybe an eraser. One of the things that artists, scientists, and writers all have in common are they observe things. They use their power of observation to look at the details and tell an important story. Artists do that through their eyes and scientists also, they use their eyes as one of their most important tools to look at the world around them. Writers will use their power of observation through their eyes, ears, smell, but they will write those things down to tell their story. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about the robot method <laughs> of drawing as we look at something and try to make a detailed drawing of what we see. I have this beautiful hosta that's coming up nicely and I'm just going to draw that. So what my remote control, I said robot method, but really it's really more of a remote control. So I said before, your eyes are your most important tool as a scientist or an artist. And I'm going to use my eyes to watch and closely observe this leaf right here. I'm going to be looking at it from a slightly different angle than you are, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my eyes to trace around this outside edge of the leaf. And what that's called in drawing, if I'm drawing something by tracing the outside edge, that's called a contour drawing. So I'm going to do a contour drawing, but instead of drawing it quickly like I j did just now, I'm going to attach a remote control in my eyes and attach it to the tip of my pencil. And as I trace up this leaf and around these little bumps and turns, I'm going to move remote control with my eyes to my pencil. Now I'm going to look more at my leaf than I'm looking at my paper. I'm going to try to only occasionally glance at my paper to make sure I'm going in the right direction. But I'm going to start right down here at this tip and I'm going to slowly trace with my eyes as I'm going up, it's going out. Now I'm about right here with my eyes, so oops. So I'm going to look back because my pencil slipped, so I'm just going to look back over and make sure that's in the right spot as I go around this part, it goes up a little, in, out again. It's got some little wavy organic parts. It's got that teeny tiny little point. And then I'm going to come down this way. And it really is tricky to look at the leaf more than at your paper. And so you want to go nice and slow. From my perspective, this part of the leaf is lower than this part. So I'm right down about here by now. Whoops. There we go. So that's a start to my leaf. I notice all these beautiful lines they're all similar size, except for right down in here. It's a thicker spot. So I'm going to start right down in there and remote control. The trick is that you want to go fast. I want to go fast. I'm looking at this and my brain says to me, Miss Arson, you know what that is. But if I can slow myself down, then I can really do a better observation because your brain has to make a lot of quick choices about things in life and you would be forever doing things if you're if you went this slowly but if you can get your brain to slow down and remote control your pencil while you do this drawing you can really observe it very carefully You can notice these little light green spots and mark them out. So there I have my little hosta leaf. 
I could label it. If you know from your science class any parts of the leaf, you can label those. If you want to, you could color it. You could go over with a darker pencil now that I kind of have it um, drawn out and I can trace the lines that I like or that I might need to emphasize. We talk about emphasis this quarter. So if I want the emphasis to be on the outside shape, maybe, and have these other lines be lighter, I could. I could erase the shaky lines that I didn't like, if you've drawn lightly. That's what I want you guys to practice doing, is take a minute to observe something. You can go outside if that's okay. You can look at some indoor plants. You could look at something, maybe a fruit or vegetable if you can't go outside. I'd love to have you just draw in here a lot more. So feel free and just share with me, upload to Seesaw, and I can't wait to see what you guys draw.